Fantasy MMO RPG combat usually falls into one of two different categories. Tab targeted combat with auto attacks for basic attacks performed by the character's weapons and action combat which requires some form of input for a character's basic attacks using those weapons. These two types of systems are perfectly showcased by World of Warcraft and Terra for each re type respectively. But what about Ashes of Creation? How will they handle the basic attacks in this ambitious MMO that they're creating? Stay tuned for more. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyree, and today I want to talk about how Intrepid Studios is planning to tackle this normally bland aspect of MMOs. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys that I do stream frequently on Twitch, but unfortunately I don't have a set schedule due to my day job. I do update my schedule on Twitter as soon as I get it mapped out, so if you want to pop into the stream and talk about the game, please give me a follow on Twitter so that you can stay up to date on my schedule. Links to both are in the description below. Now the developers have stated that they intend to create a combat system that is a combination of an action combat system and a tab target system. They're creating skills that will be tab target only and some that will be action skills that will require aiming, also known as skill shots for my fellow mobile players. But what about basic weapon attacks? Well, the developers have come up with a solution that seems to lean more to the action combat side of things in my opinion. They've created what they're calling a weapon use combo system which will have players spec into weapon abilities on their combat skill tree based on what weapon they would like to use. So for example, if you want to use bows, you would place skill points in the, into the bow combat skill tree. The more points you place in that tree will unlock various effects that could synergize with other skills or class ability. In the July interview with Shroud and Summit 1G, Stephen Sharif gave the following example. Let's say a dagger has some slashing effects that bleed the target or that cripple the target. Every time you attack, you have a chance to proc that effect. That effect then can synergize with what your active skills tree has available to it. So let's say your backstab deals 30 additional damage to a bleeding target. If you attack with your main weapon first and the target gets the bleed proc off and you do your backstab skill, then you're synergizing your effects. In the developer update back in February of this year, it was stated that these procs may even reduce or reset the cooldowns of other skills. From the same live stream, they also stated that in general, using a skill or ability, I assume they mean class or ability skills here, would reset the combo, though some might not. Now the combo system will be a repeatable skill effect that we can continually attack with while other skills are on cooldown, similar to the way auto attacks fill the downtime between our abilities in a tab target combat system. But the choices we make with proc effects and weapon abilities will give us more choices for how we want to play our characters. But that's not all that the devs have planned for this particular system. By using the weapon combo system and the skills that it provides, we'll be building focus, which can then be used to unleash powerful ultimate skills. For example, Righteous Fury is usable when your focus has reached 80% and will launch spears at all targets in front of you, dealing damage and pulling them towards you. If you were to add more points and bring the skill to rank 2, it would force the target's hit to attack you and increase their hate towards you, making them easier to tank. The final rank would increase the arc to be 360 degrees around your character. It seems to me that in between using class skills and abilities, we'll be using weapon skills or abilities to proc effects that will boost as many of our other skills and abilities, both class and weapon, and then using our ultimate skill when we have enough focus. I think this sets the stage where the skill ceiling of this game could be astronomically high, higher than any traditional fantasy MMO that's been released. If that's true, I think that's a good thing. Rewarding players with high effectiveness for playing well should be the core goal for all game design. However, a lot of times if the skill ceiling is quite high, then the skill floor is also quite high, which makes the game less accessible to all players. I hope the developers can ride the line when it comes to balancing these two aspects and keep the game inclusive for players that play casually and rewarding for those who are more dedicated and willing to put a massive amount of time in. What do you all think of this weapon use combo system? Do you think it's an improvement over the traditional auto attack and action combat systems or do you think it will make the game too convoluted and difficult to play? Let me know in the comments down below and if you've enjoyed the content of this video please hit the like button, it really does help the algorithm for this channel. If you want to get updates on whenever my future Ashes of Creation videos go live, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye